Hey guys, it's Han it's uh Jason. I'm so used to saying Hans Brolo. I'm sorry, it's my uh, let's play channel. Anyways, so uh another week and we've now been here for over a month. So woo. However, it is also the week of uh, Nermon's YouTube survey 2012. So let's begin, shall we? Question 1. Why are you called that? So my full name is Jason Mark Rogie and this stems from a very long and complicated story where my mom wanted to name my me after my father, Mark, and my dad was, didn't want any of that. So w their decision was to call to make my middle name Mark, whereas they would make my first name my dad's idea, which was Jason. And my last name is Rogie because that's my dad's name, my dad's surname. All right, and also I have two YouTube handles. The first one being Karogi52, and I got that one from work um, because a lot of my friends were Star Wars fans, and they didn't, and they thought that my last name fit in with Obi Wan Kenobi pretty well. So I was Obi Wan Karogi for a very long time. Still haven't completely shaken that name off, at least in the real world. Um, and my second one is Hans Brollo, which also comes from work because they were also fa fa uh, Star Wars fan. They were all st everyone was a Star Wars fan at my job, and uh, so my next so the next name just came from people were like a oh, Hans Solo. Well, Rogie's got already got a Star Wars name, so let's give him another one, Hans Brollo, because they were into the whole bro movement at the time. Mm -hmm. So next question, tell us about your favorite high school teacher. So my favorite school teacher has to be has to be my high school chemistry teacher because that dude can is just full of energy um he actually taught us he he actually taught us a dance to remember the rules or what mole atoms and molecules do in uh the in like thermodynamics where they wiggle they rotate and they translate so like they rotate and then they translate it's really cool, and like we just had a lot of fun. We constantly blew stuff up, and he was known as the the teacher that always set the school on fire. Like there was not a year that went by that he taught at our school that the fire alarms did not go off because of him. Next question: What is the strangest food you've ever eaten? So the strangest food I've ever eaten is heart attack special, and. <laughs> Uh, it's not really that strange in comparison to some of the stuff that I've seen, but it is definitely the strangest I've ever had. So, to describe it, it is two pounds of bacon. Already very bad for you. A pound of bacon, or not a pound of bacon, a pound of um, noodles. I don't really remember. Um, they're the long tubular noodles. Um, and then about a pound of Velveeta cheese and a lot of tomato paste. And you mix it all up and into a casserole and you layer the bacon on top of the whole casserole and it tastes like a heart attack. I don't, I am kid you not, like holy crap. It tastes great, but it's also the weirdest thing that I've ever eaten because you shouldn't be able to survive eating that. <laughs> Next question. Tell us about your first gig. So the first gig I ever went to, period, would be Crewfest 2, which is uh, Motley Crue's response to Ozfest, and that was, the, and Crewfest 2 was the second one they'd ever put on. The first one being sometime beforehand. I don't really care, but the one I went to was in 2009, and it had uh, Drowning Pool, Godsmack, Motley Crue, Cavo, Theory of a Dead Man. I think I think Theory of a Dead Man, yeah, Theory of a Dead Man, and that was those were the major headliners. Um, everything else was just kind of like small talk. All right, and the next and that one was paid for by my my mom and my stepdad at the time, uh, because they wanted to go to and yeah, we got a four pack of tickets, so we had a lot of tickets. Um, all right, the next one I went to, which was the one I paid for. Uh, the first one would be Point Fest, and there's a local radio station called The Point. It's uh, it's actually got a website, and I'll go, I'll have a link down in the description because it's got some really good alternative music on there. Uh, most of it's mainstream, but you know, I don't really, it doesn't matter. It all sounds good in the end. Um, and each year since uh, about five years after they started, 
they had put on two they had put on two um, fe music festivals a year um, and the first one I went to was the one that was headlined by three days grace Papa Roach and someone else I don't other people I don't remember but I, kn I know I really enjoyed it and then and uh, it was just this giant festival it had a lot of cool bands in it and they they've actually hosted quite a few uh, a lot of pe a lot of really neat bands have hosted like uh, Lincoln Park uh, Sick Puppies was there last year um, Cake headlined the second one in 2011 uh, Rob Zombie headlined the headlined along with Papa Roach again this year and then Greek Fire went came last year and this year to the summer one. Mm -hmm. It's really cool. All right, next question: What is your favorite place in the world? So my favorite place in the world is has got to be this place called the Johnson Shut-ins. And if you know anything about Missouri, we really don't have much here. The, there's there's a couple state parks, but uh, nothing much. Um, the biggest one though is the is Elephant Rock State Park, where we have just giant rocks of granite sitting out there and it's just a cool place to hike and about 10 miles down the highway from that is Johnsonville is the Johnson shut-ins which is a um, a, a series of shut-ins which is like a gorge with r with a river running through it um, that someone decided to name Johnson I think it's because some Johnson discovered it first I don't know but it's really fun because it's like a water s it's a natural water slide it's easily my favorite place in the world because I just love being in water and I love the adrenaline that comes with it because you get to go mountain climbing and splunking and scuba diving at the same time. But you have to be really good at swimming, other otherwise the rapids are going to throw you into things you don't want to be thrown into like undercurrents and rocks and stuff, so be careful. Next question. Who do you want to answer the survey next? I want, obviously, the rest of the people on this channel to take this quiz, but I also want one of my friends called the Green Princess to take this as well, and I will, and I will post a link to her down in the description as as well. So, I think that does it for today. Yeah, that does that's all the questions. So I will see you guys next week, and I can't wait to see the hear the survey answers tomorrow um, for the rest of the week. Bye.